Hi, it's about 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Legacy version on Xbox. And I actually like Commander Devo. Devo and me have uh, been bumping heads for a long time. And I came down to do some mining before going on that Twitch live stream. And while I was on the live stream being interviewed, I was in the asteroid field mining. But when I went to go to the asteroid field to mine, I got off the carrier in my Type 9 and found a Devo lurking. Uh, Devo had hitched a lift on my carrier and had come down to try and attack me while I was going mining. And now I didn't have a lot of time left before I had to be ready for the interview on Twitch, so I decided, decided to be very unkind to Devo. Um, I switched into a ship which is a, just something nasty that was just ram his shields off and just, well, just ram him to death, really. Um, and I didn't want to take the chance of using frags because indiscriminate fire on my own carrier might get me killed. So I went for my... Uh, pulse laser mamba in the end you can see me agonizing over the selection of ship and um, I might have switched my carrier from friends and uh, friends and squadron to just squadron or I might have said to nobody um, just so when I, I rammed Devo to death he couldn't then get back on my carrier and come straight back after me while I switched back into my type 9 this left Devo a little stranded which is why if you actually watch the Twitch video, I'm mentioning about Devo saying that he's far away and had a lot of jumps to do. Um, I, I did switch my carrier back on for him and offered to like, rescue him from being stranded. Uh, but, you know, we both str had struggles because I was rushing to get ready for an interview while dealing with chickens and all the rest of it. And Devo had to answer the door and sort his dog out. So there's a lot of times when he's crashing into my carrier and spinning around that he's not actually there he's afk running backwards and forwards to the door and having to deal with stuff um it's never good afternoons playing any video games in the afternoon is always like never easy because there's always stuff going on in the real world while you're trying to play late in the evening is perfect time to play elite dangerous early afternoon this is why i go mining a lot in the early afternoon this is what i can do when other things are happening um but yeah unexpected devo attacks aside Normally, <laughs> I'm quite safe when I go mining because my mining spot's way out of the way and the planet I mine at is like uh, it's a long, long way from the star, a good old journey. So, to be fair, I'm usually it's pretty quiet when I come down here and I don't get bothered, bothered very often, um, you know. So, it's unusual that I get attacked while I'm down here, but Devo did decide to come after me. So, yeah, I was very unkind very very unkind ramming him to death and switching my carrier onto a mode where he wouldn't respawn on it um yeah truly mean probably the meanest thing i've done to devo in a while leaving him stranded a long way from the bubble in his gang ship but he has a carrier so he ended up getting his own carrier to come and pick him up and um let me say let the ramming commence <laughs> most of the damage i inflict is ramming and um, the lasers on this thing i have a, uh, an emissive and a scramble spectrum which I'm sure he didn't enjoy the scramble spectrum because they're the turrets and I don't, I'm not going to do much damage to his armor build with just pulse lasers but that's the way it goes his ship I picked it because yeah it rams um, <laughs> I had to be quick I was due to be interviewed on Twitch and trying to concentrate on being interviewed while you know being attacked that's going to be quite difficult honestly like having an interview while you're mining fine Having an interview while you're doing PvP wouldn't have sounded good. I would have been very distracted. Um, so, yeah. fair play to Diva though. Um, the patience to stalk out my carrier and join me when I'm mining is um, to be applauded, actually. I was quite impressed. But I think this is when he was AFK <laughs> dealing with a dog. And I got, because he didn't comment or notice on the fact that I got absolutely wedged in my own carrier. I actually thought I'd got stuck inside the carrier for a bit. Um, but managed to free myself it was like a momentary panic but yeah um i you know i enjoy fighting devo but this was this one was a completely unfair fight i picked something that was just gonna smash him um unkind of me i know 
And like I was there, I did get worried when that uh, moment just happened where the screen froze for a second. I was like, oh, I think that's because we were by my carrier. The game always struggles when I'm by my carrier. It's a bit of an oddity. But there's Devo's crashing into my carrier again. Uh, bless him. He spent a lot of time crashing into my carrier, but he, was, he, he told me that he had to run off and open the door and deal with the dog and various things and mess around. That is the hazards of gaming in the afternoon, I've got to say. Normally, you know, when I game in the afternoon, I I have chickens out that are getting their exercise. I have cats demanding feeding. I have loads of chores to do around the house. So mining's perfect because I can go mining, go AFK for long periods of time in between rocks and nobody mines, nobody bothers. But, you know, combat, it's not the best thing to do when you're busy. Uh, certainly not the best thing to do while you're being interviewed on Twitch so yeah hence why I had to get this over with switch back to my type 9 get back into the asteroid belt do some mining and then have my interview in peace and quiet of uh, asteroid field mining while I talk to someone who's out in deep space peacefully exploring but, you know someday we might actually do a twitch stream where we do a bit of piracy I don't know um, I may appear on that twitch stream more often as a co-host I don't know Going forward, it's um, yeah, it's something to think about. Um, I'll link you to the. I think he's going to put a video up on YouTube. Well, I'll link that when he when he does. And um, yeah, it was quite nice. It's uh, it's always nice to sort of like um, help out other creators and meet other people and people who have a common interest in Elite Dangerous, especially when it's Elite Dangerous on the Xbox version, because uh, there's so few of us left. You know, we've got to make the most of what we've got. And that means that I quite happily promote Devo's channel, even though a lot of his channel is trying to kill me, apparently, lately. <laughs> he has been, um, yeah, getting concerned. I think he's got a grudge. But all in all, um, I run into Devo on a regular basis. I sometimes kill him because he's an imp, uh, but generally only once out of an evening, uh, unless he wants to have 1v1s and stuff. But, you know, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes I just have to be mean because I've got other things to do and this was one of those times so Sadly for Devo I picked this ship just because it didn't really matter what I did this ship is just way too overpowered for the ship he's in it's, um, Yeah, this ship was designed to uh, win wing fights against meta FDLs, so it's It's got ridiculous shields on it, and it's um, It's not got the biggest hull so phasing it, oddly it's it does phasing and it's not actually that good against phasing go figure but anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And um, yeah, GG to Devo. Sorry I had to ram you to death and run. But I had a Twitch stream to be on. And he was actually watching the Twitch stream while fighting me and commenting on it. So there you go. Anyway, that's all. Thank you very much for watching.